Good morning. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Here in the kitchen with Christine, the happy cookie lady, and we uh, started working on something that I'm real excited about, jelly bean biscotti cookies. Uh, if you're going to an Easter brunch, what a fun thing to bring. Make a great great little hostess gift. Yeah. That, that and maybe some tea or coffee. Yeah, really fun. And biscotti is normally, you know, you, you dip it in tea or coffee. It's a harder cookie. Yeah, biscotti means double bit, twice baked. Okay, is so. that what it means? Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to use up leftover jelly beans, too, which I always seem to have after Easter. So we started there's, out. There's no such thing as leftover jelly not beans. Not in your house? No. Okay. So we started out creaming together butter and sugar. You have uh, four tablespoons of butter, and I would use the real butter with this one. Okay. And then a cup of sugar. Okay. Get and we, nice we and beat that for about four or five minutes. About one, two. Two? Okay. And then we're going to add one, one egg. egg at a, three eggs, um, one egg at a time. Okay. And of course, I get the shell in there. That's why I do it into a cup. Smart lady. Okay. Okay, so butter, sugar, three eggs, one at a time. A little bit of vanilla. Okay. It's about two teaspoons of vanilla. Then we're going to add, I think it's two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. Half teaspoon of salt. Okay. And I would turn it off unless we both want to get a bath. Nope. <laughs> three cups of flour. Okay. It's going to make a nice big batch. Yeah, it's going to make um, two logs of this. Okay. Uh, now you went and got some really, the, some of the I fun jelly flavor bellies. jelly bellies, mm -hmm. which you can get. I know they have them at the corner. But you get, get as long as you use them. the smaller ones, you're good. Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, if you get the um, the large ones, you're going to have to quarter them. So okay. You won't be able to slice it. Okay. So, so the small jelly beans is what we, we like these though because they've got really great flavor. Yeah, I, I got all different these. fruit flavors like oh, tangerine and yum, peach and, and yum. stuff. So. so we're waiting for this dough to kind of come together, and let's pretend it did. Okay. And we mix the jelly beans in by hand, correct? After right, our you, dough, you stir those stir those in by hand. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, Take the dough out, divide it in two, and kind of shape it into two logs like this. It'll okay. be a little bit smaller than that when okay. you put it on the tray. Okay. And please use parchment paper because the jelly beans turn into my, like molten lava oh, and you'll boy. never get the pan clean. Okay, so uh, parchment paper is key. Line your, your cookie sheet with that. Right, and then I, I beat an egg Okay. and I brushed it all over the top and then I just mixed a couple Eastery looking colored sugars that I had and sprinkle it over the top. Pretty. And after it's baked for about 25 minutes, you'll want to get a nice light golden brown color okay. on it. And then you let it cool 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Now this is cooled overnight, so it's okay. going to slice a little bit differently, but the end piece is usually a waste, but you're going to cut it, oh, about three quarters of an inch thick. Okay. You're going to take them like that. And then we're going to put them flat like that on the pan. And they're beautiful. And they're going to bake them for another 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. So, and then when they're, they come out, you're going to want to cool so them on a... let's slice a couple more of them. You're going to want to cool them on a, um, what do you call it, a rack. Okay. Because so you want them crispy. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be very, very, uh, you know, hard. That's the point of them is that you they're dip them in... They're a dunking cookie. You know, they're a dunking cookie, exactly. Um, but they're so pretty, and uh, these are going to be a fun, different way. Now, the same recipe, if you didn't want to use jelly beans, could you use, like, chocolate chips? I imagine you could or... do... I like dried cranberries in oh, mine. Oh, yeah. Um, I like to put dried cranberries in them, and then I like a little bit of orange zest Ooh, in with it. That would be wonderful. So um, you get the idea, the technique of how to make biscotti, which they sell at those fancy coffee shops per cookie two or three bucks a piece. I know it's yeah. crazy so make them at home what a fun thing to do for you know even a these uh, would be cute in, even in an Easter basket yeah you know exactly. little packets of it in an Easter yeah, basket really, for adults yeah you, know. you can buy the little cellophane things or teachers gifts now you could like do that. these in different colors for green and red for Christmas yeah or you could do orange and maybe the purple I don't think the, the black ones would be too good the licorice in, in the flavor but Fun for ideas. Halloween or yeah, a neat neat thing. And here we've got them all done after they've been baked a second time, and little uh, little bunny rabbit is liking them very much. 